What is one question you would ask someone if you wanted to determine their level of intelligence? What is one question you would ask someone if you wanted to determine their level of intelligence? There's a lake with a lily pad in the middle. Each day the lily pad doubles in size. It takes 48 days to cover the whole lake. How many days does it take for the lily pad to cover half the lake? 47 I am smart. What did you spend your stimulus check on? I spent mine on toilet paper. This guy knows economics. If you are suspicious about someone's expertise in any given subject make up some BS about it in. Ask them something like go get the blinker fluid. Quote. If they say it will do. They have no expertise. If they say, I don't know what that is they at least have enough expertise to question whether you are credible. If they say, shut up then they can see through your house of lies and are definitely smarter than they appear. This is actually really smart. I would ask them to tell me about last time they changed their mind about something and why they did it. I would say I forgot because I forget everything. What is the average air speed velocity of a laden swallow? African or European? How do you know so much about swallows? You have to know these things when you're a king, you know. Uh, I don't know. A A A A A G H! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Asterisk Arthur has entered the chat asterisk. Debugging? Carrot carrot I can be friends with this one. Are you intelligent? No. The only correct answer. I used to be intelligent till I learned I wasn't. If a word is misspelled in the dictionary, how would we ever know? It will be given as the past tense of misspell. What's your IQ? Of they say anything other than, why would I know that? Quote. I'll assume they're a dumbass. I was given an IQ and when I was eight, I shudder to take another to find out how FK and dumb I am now. I participated in a study a few years back as part of my psychology minor, where the postgrad student was practicing administering an IQ test as part of psych evaluation. That's the only reason I know the actual number. Even though I don't know how subjective the interpretation by the interviewer is on some of the criteria, it was only a minor. So we never got in depth on how IQ tests function depends on the context, unless this is a job interview, testing situation. I would just have a normal conversation with a monsieur I don't think that intelligence falls neatly into a single scale. So this would give a general impression of how they think. What's heavier? A kilogram of steel, or a kilogram of feathers? But duh, but steel is heavier than feathers. Haha, <laughs> that's great for a second there I was thinking a kilogram was an actual unit of measurement. What do you think about vaccines? Ask them what their opinion is on something political economic they definitely don't know. If they respond instead of admitting that they don't know what they're talking about, they're stupid. Or they might just be on the average human thinking level because that is what most people do in. The only ones who admit they don't know are mature so you shouldn't just consider those who reply. Stupid. How many triangles are there in this image? Zero. Do you think the Earth is round or flat? Ever played Minecraft? It's clearly a cube. Tell that to Austin. What is your sign? Stop. Private drive. What does a cow drink? Water or milk? The blood of their enemies. Both. I mean technically speaking a calf and a cow are different but both. What do you think of the news today? Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound, and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost he's been, compared to Elvis Costello. But I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. Found the serial killer. What does that even mean? I'm wondering how one gauges intelligence off of their thoughts of the news. I think it's more a gauge of if they're making an effort to be informed or not. However, results are going to vary depending on where they're sourcing their news. So I'm not a fan of this metric. We're fucked me. When we believe that we are more intelligent than others. 
we don't listen to their advice and suffer for it? What is the powerhouse of this LE equals IQ higher than grams of sugar in a 16 ounces chocolate milkshake? Golgi apparatus duh. Do you return the shopping cart to its spot after you go grocery shopping? I would put this more in the common decency category. But that is possibly the more important quality to query. Can you type or write the sentence there are two peas read eight articles? There are two peas read eight articles? The sad part is I'm sure this is the legit response of some people. What are you curious about? It almost doesn't matter what the answer is. I find that if you ask someone that, you can gauge their enthusiasm for wanting to understand the world around them. Something I would rate as a valuable indicator of intelligence. The opposite of this would be a lack of curiosity, or believing that arriving at answers is the only valuable product of our efforts to make sense of the world. What is your IQ? Plot twist. The right answer is that you don't know. Because if you just throw a number out there, that shows your intelligence. Especially if you say a large number. About 4. Ah, a man of intelligence, I see. I just say over 100, I hope. What is the problem with answering with your IQ? It's just a riff on people who claim to have high IQs. And the fact that your IQ doesn't mean anything really. Because we all know that one person who says they have like a 200 IQ but they're really unintelligent. If an electric train traveled northwest at a speed of 69 mpr for 420 minutes and a wind speed going southeast at 6.66 miles per hour, what direction will the train's smoke go to? Lol. Well fuck, you got me. Electric trains produce lots of smoke if you use them wrong enough. If it had any smoke, it would be going southeast once it leaves the train. The train's velocity has no effect on it. What is the answer to life? It's pretty simple, lol. 42. Death. Where is Wyoming? Trick question, Wyoming isn't real. That's knowledge, not intelligence. Actually it's a joke believe it or not. Jokes don't exist on the internet. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? Back in 2009 or something I was in a trigonometry math class full of sleepy kids. Our doid class was asked this question. No one answered because the smart kid who always answered wasn't allowed to pitch in today. And the teacher had a short fuse. Of course the teacher got upset and started yelling, If Grant is buried in Grant's tomb then WHO is buried in Grant's tomb. At the top of their lungs. If I recall correctly the teacher walked out on us and wouldn't tell us who was buried in Grant's tomb. Teacher had anger MGT issues it appears. My grandfather sprung this one on me. When I couldn't give right answer he said he seen better heads on a nickel beer at which point my dad added to my humiliation with his laughter. Grant and his wife. Oh now we're just assuming his sexual preferences are we? How about we dump the fascism and just say Grant and his cock suck? There's no need to get personal. Grant and the meat bag they've been fucking their whole life. It's not hard to be respectful. You just have to try. Honestly, this one's pretty good. People responding here are offering questions that they consider to be intelligent and that they also know the answer to. If it's factual, what did Magnus do wrong? He was too great. Is mathematics invented or discovered? And what the answer is? Not up, but the answer is yes and yes. Naturally occurring phenomena are discovered non-naturally occurring phenomena are invented. To illustrate, integers are naturally occurring things. Number of fingers, etc. While I, the square root of negative 1, is not a naturally occurring thing. Therefore one can be discovered and one must be invented. How many golf balls fit inside an airplane? IDK at least one edit, maybe two? Depends on what airplane. Bet I could fit three in a jumbo jet. Why? Because. Why not? What's the funniest shit you ever seen? How many nights were you on Jeopardy? Sigh. Only two. Zero. I was there 69 days though. What is your level of intelligence? Seven. Genius. Do you drink Dos Equis? Which Star Wars trilogy is the worst? 
the trilogy of trilogies. I would extend a hand with food in it and see what happens. I'd bite the hand off but spit out the food. I'm not technically biting the hand that's feeding me. I'm eating the hand that would then fuel me. Genius. Gifted. Normal. Dumb. Retarded. Scientologist. Redditor. You scored where I thought you would. Why is dumb higher than genius in the scale? Because obviously, Redditor is at the top. That was just dumb. Are you an anti-vaxxer flat earther? Sorry, I'm a flat vaxxer and an anti-earther. Greater than anti-earther. Found Marco Inaros. Are we the only ones that have read The Expanse? Why not both? When was the last time you did something stupid? Quote. Or what's the last stupid thing you've done? Quote. People who are smart tend to not have their ego wrapped up in it, as it's just how they've always been. People who aren't smart, tend to have a harder time answering. I've only asked this a couple times. So I'm not sure how it graphs next to the Dunning-Kruger effect. Do you watch Rick and Morty? I was sitting in my new boss's office the other day and he asked if I knew which direction I was facing. People that ask point-blank questions to ascertain your intelligence level are douchebags. I gave them the correct answer. I would ask them to answer the Monty Hall problem monsieur. Suppose you're on a game show, and you're given the choice of three doors. Behind one door is a car. Behind the others, goats. You pick a door, say no, one, and the host, who knows what's behind the doors, opens another door. Say no, three, which has a goat. He then says to you, do you want to pick or no? Two, is it to your advantage to switch your choice? Answer, under the standard assumptions, contestants who switch have a two-thirds chance of winning the car, while contestants who stick to their initial choice have only a one-third chance. I've spent hours trying to understand the probability of this problem. After seeing it on Brooklyn 99, and I still don't understand why it works the way it does. I read about it I the curious incident of THD dog in the night. It took me a while to get my head around it. There is an island with 12 islanders. All of the islanders individually weigh exactly the same amount. Except for one, who either weighs more or less than the other 11. You must use a seesaw to figure out whose weight is different and you may only use the seesaw three times. There are no scales or other weighing device on the island. How can you find out which islander is the one that has a different weight? What is the categorical imperative? Does that work for everyone? Only for intelligent ones. There's 12 fish. Half of them drown. How many would be left? Contrary to popular belief, fish can, sort of, drown if the water around them isn't properly oxygenated. Suffocated would probably be a more correct term though. Oh, well you learn something new every day. Thanks for the fact. Do you believe in an alternate universe that I didn't ask this question? I always ask these questions. Have we been to the moon? Is the earth flat or round? I had another one. It escapes me RN. What are your thoughts on neo-Nazis? What is the difference between a fact and an opinion? What shape is the Earth? Flat Earthers are my baseline measure of too stupid to talk to. If you were in a comedy ocean for losers is the person in first place or second place a bigger loser? Would you give me a demonstration of your level of intelligence? Why that? People are intelligent in all different kinds of ways. Here are some examples. Asterisk human psychology. Asterisk business. Asterisk music. Asterisk chess. Asterisk math. Magic the gathering. Asterisk software. What goes first, the cereal or the milk? Excuse me human. W-H-T is your level of intelligence? How many chromosomes do you have? A-A-L-L-L-O-U-V-T-H-E-M. This. This is the question that you ask a novice determining your intelligence by examining the Questions that you think would prove how smart someone is. Hello, name a victim, I want to play a game. Is it pronounced data or data? Is water wet? What do you think about a career in the arts? What is your favorite insert a video game without movies based on it here, movie? 
Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.